to be able to just make a choice on your own and just be able to speak for yourself. This one's wife. Come on, Charles, shut them up. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Aurora Basotti writes in the Express, King Charles urged to adopt aggressive tactic to silence this one's wife and Harry's attacks. So far, King Charles has adopted the appropriate approach of simply ignoring this one's wife and Harry as they throw brickbats from across the ocean and reiterating the door's always open for his return. This enables King Charles to manage his facade as seeing like a reasonable parent, whilst also following the appropriate response, which is to give them nothing. He has played a straight bat with regard to them returning, not issuing invitations for Sandringham despite their come and get us, we'll be happy to attend, and therefore has adopted a sensible approach so far. This starves this one's wife for fuel, it infuriates her because as she stamps her cloven hoof, she wants a response from King Charles because it tells her that she matters. The article explains that King Charles has been urged to respond more vigorously to this one's wife and Prince Harry's allegations to stop them from attacking the institution of the crown further. His Majesty has never directly addressed any of the claims the couple have made since their departure, with sources close to him claiming he is eager to bury the hatchet. In wanting to bury the hatchet, of course, that enables him to maintain a facade of being a decent human being, and that is a loving father, and allows him to gain the control over the two non-intimate secondary sources that are this one's wife and Harry. Naturally, there are others that would prefer him not to do that, regarding the behaviour of this one's wife and the ginger prince as beyond the pale, and that they ought to be both ostracised and punished in some form in order to let them know that what they have done meets with no approval whatsoever, and to send a strong signal to them. Biographer Tom Bauer argued that the royal family should be far more proactive to silence the Sussexes, to avoid further attacks. While some royal exports commend the royal family for their dignified silence amid harmful claims being thrown by Harry and this one's wife, Bauer questioned the success of the current approach. He said, I've always said all along that they cannot just sit back and remain silent when all these lies were being perpetrated. The biographer added, His Majesty needs to be more proactive to silence the Sussexes. The author hit out at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for their repeated criticisms of the royals, stating that the couple have been allowed to get away with too much. Bauer made the suggestion as he discussed the anger caused by Harry and this one's wife naming their daughter Lilibet which was the late Queen's special nickname. Speaking with Talk TV, the author said, I always thought Harry was lying when he said that he had the Queen's support. He added, I think they played a blinder, and it was quite outrageous. Bauer called it a hijacking of the royal family and insisted that Queen Elizabeth II did not agree with it. He further commented, What's interesting is that overnight the Sussex's spokesman in Monty Shit Show insisted that their version was the truth. They're really now worried, and I just wish that King Charles would be more aggressive towards the Sussexes and tell them that all the things they're saying and doing are really beyond the pale. Ahead of the release of Spare, Harry's memoir, Bauer previously told the son, I don't know what else King Charles can do. The best the family can do is to break ties with them, namely the Sussexes. The most appropriate thing that King Charles can do, and has been doing, is to give them nothing. To starve this one's wife of fuel is the most effective thing to do. Her narcissism compels her 
to get Charles under control. Hence, these provocations are generated by her narcissism with the expectation that Charles will respond in a particular way and, in so doing, she will gain recognition and validation which provides her with the fuel. There's also the fact that there may well be residual benefits in terms of continuing their relationship with the royal family, thereby leveraging that for more shows, programmes and podcasts, and even seeking financial assistance from the king directly, given the rumoured financial hardships or expected financial hardships the gruesome twosome are experiencing. The fact is, it is in the interests of this one's wife to assert control over King Charles for the reasons that I have explained, and it's also in his interest to not respond to her. That gets to her more than anything else. If he were to respond with some form of statement, either publicly or directly in a letter to this one's wife, all he's doing is giving her with fuel, and therefore she's winning. Even if he criticises her, it's still fuel. She's getting a response, and it isn't going to cause her to issue a mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, and say, do you know what, Chuck? You're absolutely right. We've been ever so naughty and horrible. I'm terribly sorry. We won't do it ever again. Instead, given the indignation that she experiences as a consequence of her perceived treatment at the hands of the royal family, what she does instead would be to what she would do instead would be to respond by saying, Have you seen this, Harry? Your father's at it again, criticizing me, criticizing us. No wonder we left. No wonder there's no chance of a reconciliation with that kind of attitude. And all that would happen would be that Charles's stated aim of some kind of reconciliation would not take place, and he would give her fuel. Yes, there are many people who want King Charles to stick it to the gruesome twosome. But you have to remember that because she's a narcissist, she wants the fight. She wants the response. Not giving her that, although it is not the spectacle that many people would prefer, what it does amount to is really getting to her. Many people, driven by their emotional thinking, think that it's appropriate to tear a strip off the narcissist and that that wounds the narcissist. It doesn't. All you're doing is giving lashings of fuel to the narcissist, increasing your own emotional thinking by continuing the interaction, and ultimately, you don't resolve anything. And remember, the narcissist is set up to address conflict. You invariably are not. Now, for Charles, he doesn't experience the emotional thinking, since he's a narcissist himself. But nevertheless, trying to persuade this one's wife won't get him anywhere. Aggressive action may well satisfy members of the public, but it will give her fuel. What he's better off doing is taking things away from them, because that will wound. And in conjunction with the government, if he was able to remove the relevant titles and basically completely ostracise them to say, you are now never going to have anything to do with us anymore, that would be an aggressive move that would really wound this one's wife. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.